Good afternoon class. Today we're going to be doing some painting. Now before we decide what to paint we need to make sure that we have everything that we need. So we've got some paint brushes, we got some normal ones, so we've got a big one, a medium sized one, and a small one. We also have some sponge brushes, some big ones and medium sized ones as well, with a small one. We also have a cup of water because we're working with some watercolours. We have paper towels so we can dry off our brushes. We also have our paints. So we've got some cool colours here. We've got our purple, our blue colour and our green colour. And of course we're also working with some warm colours. So we've got a yellow, we have some red, we have some orange and we have some brown. Now we also need a pencil. Now once you have everything you need, we're going to decide what to paint. Hmm, we've been looking at habitats recently so let's paint a habitat. We're going to paint one that's under the sea. So, let's start off by putting our piece of paper into two parts. So you've got your piece, you've got your pencil, and you're going to draw a line from one end of the piece of paper to the other. So your piece of paper is now in two parts. The bigger part is for the sea, and the smaller part is for the ocean floor. Now, we're going to be painting the ocean floor first which means we need to get one of our sponge brushes, the medium sized brush. So pop that in a glass of water. Get your yellow paint, because remember the sea floor is made of a sand, which means we need to get some yellow from our warm colors and do some paint it some nice yellow. Let's get our big normal paintbrush, make sure it's nice and wet, and go into our cool colours. So, we're going to get our blue, some nice blue for our lovely sea. Excellent. All mixed up. And let's start painting our lovely sea. Now, you can do this in long strokes like this or you can do it diagonally like that any which way you please So, dry off our paintbrush. Now, the next step is to put in some, uh, some decorations, I would say. But they're more along the lines of, you know, rocks and some seaweed, some coral. Everything that we've been looking at recently. So, we need our medium sized paintbrush. Pop that in some water and let's start off and paint some rocks. Now, we've seen the rocks up on land which are a nice brown colour. So mix up your brown in your warm colour palette and we're going to make our rock so we can do a big circle as the outline and we can do some dabbing. Make it look all textury. What do you reckon? Putting some dabbing is called, which is pretty much putting dots on the paper. Excellent. Put our lovely rock, clean off our brush, 
because the next step is to make some seaweed. Now, who knows what colour seaweed is? That's right, it's green. So, paintbrush is wet again, mix up some green. very easy to make your seaweed because you just do squiggles like that. Some nice squiggles and you can do as many seaweeds as you want. I'm just going to do three. Now, I also reckon we should make some coral, put some more things on the sea floor. Now, coral comes in so many different colours. But today I'm going to make it a nice red colour for our coral. So make sure your brush is wet, mix it up with your red and do a nice line. Then you do another line off of that one. Some more lines like me. And there we go, our coral. Now, looking at that painting, it looks a bit empty, doesn't it? We need some sea creatures. So, putting away my big, my medium sized brush, sorry, and getting my small brush, we are going to paint some sea creatures. Hmm, I know. Let's paint a jellyfish. Now, jellyfish are usually blue and purple colours. But today, I'm going to make our jellyfish purple. So wet your brush, mix it up with your purple, then up on your piece of paper, do a circle for the jellyfish head. And a jellyfish is just as easy to make as seaweed because you need to do three squiggles for their legs. So we've got our jellyfish. Let's do a different sea creature. now. Who else can tell me? We also have fish in our oceans, don't we? So let's make our fish orange. Let's do them a different colour. So in our warm colours, we've got our lovely orange all mixed up. And we're going to do a fish. So do a curved line, another curved line, and then we're doing a sideways triangle for their tail and colour them in and there we go put some brown in there make it oh, no we won't make it a brown let's make it a blue and do an eye now there we go our lovely painting of under the sea. So guys, thanks for taking the time to paint with Miss Gray today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.